Hello and welcome back to Get It Kisses. I'm your host Kristen and today is Q&A Monday and you can ask me whatever today. I've also got a few things that I got in the post and I want to share them with you. So welcome, welcome. And as you join me, please let me know where you're from. Say hello. I love it. I love it. I'm so glad that you're here. If you are watching me on replay and you have a question, be sure and write replay and ask the question. <laughs> from time to time we give you People who just write replay and I'm like all right that's cool that's cool but do you have a question <laughs> so ask away if you do ask me a question live keep it kind of short because I can't see the whole thing in the live feed so anyway I'm so glad that you're here I hope you had a wonderful weekend I, I am uh, I was getting rested up but still working busy busy on stuff coming up this week um, this Wednesday um, is not going, I don't think I'm going to be able to go live this Wednesday. I've got to see my daughter's musical early because on Thursday, Friday, I will be gone out of town to go shoot for the Newton Garden Shay Now show. Woo woo! <laughs> my first, my first thing. To some hosts, it may not be a big deal, but it's my first thing. First national television show, so. I'm excited. So I fly out very early on Thursday morning, but Wednesday morning, I've got to go see my daughter because I'm going to miss her performances on Thursday and Friday night. <laughs> She's in a musical. So anyway, um, I'm so glad you guys are here. I've got some yarn to show you and, um, yeah, I'm excited. So, um, I will, we'll, we'll have a video that was once a live Facebook live video that, um, I think we're going to have come out on Friday on, um, on YouTube. And, um, which is a fun refresher if you missed it the first time. And then, um, but this Wednesday, I think I'm just going to skip out and not be, <laughs> not do a live broadcast unless I did one very late. Um, because it's during the time that I've got to go see my daughter at her musical. It's like the, the kid performance for her friends at school. And so I don't think they get through the entire performance. So anyway, I've got a bucket full of yarn I want to show y'all, but I want to say hello before we get started. Hi everyone. Thank you for joining me. I'm glad you hopped on. Hi Carol. Good morning and Melissa. Hi, Chris. How are you? Ellie, hello, and Debbie. Debbie, it's good to see you. I'm so, I'm so sorry about your husband. And uh, anyway, I don't want to make this all personal, but I love you very much. I'm sending warm hugs. Um, Brenda, hey, good morning. And hi, Pearl and Robin and Alicia. Hi. Oh, Robin, you're back from your Florida vacation. Need to finish the samples. Oh yes, yes. That's okay. I've got. I'm. I'm. I'm still busy, girl. So you're good. You got plenty of time. Uh, good morning, Susan in Minnesota. Hi, Angie and Bridget. Hi, Cassid, Ellie, Chris, Angie, Deborah. Hey, and Deborah. Oh, spell check. What? Now I gotta go back. What does it say? What? What did you mess up on? <laughs> and don't worry about it. It goes so fast, you know. I don't, you know, the misspellings, you know. <laughs> Alicia, yes, thank you. My daughter feels so much better. Thank you. I We've had a mess of people being sick out here. So, um, yeah, my daughter is better. Actually, all three kids are at school today. Yay, praise the Lord. Um, one of them even has a field trip today. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that. Uh Let's see, what kind of yarn uh, uh, should you use for the shawl? Um, I Well, actually, I was going to say, I've got some Karen Simply Soft. That would be a good one. Um, I would use for a shawl, well, you know, shawls are subjective. Whatever you want to use for the purpose, the type of shawl it is. So are you using it for a decorative piece? Are you using it for glamour and glitz and for a night out? Are you wanting something um, lacy that looks very heirloom? Are you wanting something that's um, soft and sleek um, that is uh, will not only keep you warm but is beautiful as well that has very close knit stitches um do you want something that is absolutely to keep you warm and you want it just really nice and thick and plush so that is why we have so many yarns out there isn't that awesome <laughs> because depending upon the type of thing that you want to make you might want to choose a different yarn so um always make a swatch this is what i suggest especially if it's a new yarn to you um i would read the label grab uh the needle if you um the needle or hook and if it is um 
if you were a tight knitter, I would just grab a bigger hook or a bigger needle one size up and then make you up a little swatch. If you want to know how that yarn behaves, <laughs> is it uh is it a behaving yarn? Does it does it obey your whim? Um, does it have a mind of its own? Those are things that you find out when you make a swatch, the dreaded swatch, I know. But the thing is, is yeah. And if you um, are into uh, sample afghans and things like that, then you can always like start making them a certain size as your swatch, and then you see how it behaves, and uh, you can put it, incorporate it into another project. If it's um, if it's something like a wool, like a full, uh, you know, like a hundred percent animal fiber wool, or if it is a, um, uh, like a, a cotton yarn, you, you can use it for like a, a trivet or a washcloth, um, that kind of thing. So those, like the animal fibers aren't going to be, um, flammable. So if you use them for like a pot, hot pot holder or something like that. So those are small projects that you can make. Um, yeah. So let's see. Tickets to show. Angie, this is a pre-recorded of the Knit and Crochet Now show, which is on PBS. You can check your local listings and see when it comes on for you. We're recording season eight, so it won't air until I believe it's October. October. So right now they're in the middle of season uh, seven, um, that, which you can catch now. So check your local listings for the Knit and Crochet Now show. Oops. And then once the show is over, you can head on over to Annie's Crochet. Gosh, I keep hitting my tripod. I'm sorry. You can hit, uh, go to Annie's Crochet uh, .com and you can find all the Knit and Crochet. You can actually go to the Knit and Crochet Now show um, thing, but Annie's also has some stuff too. Um, but Knit and Crochet Now show is... Um, Anyway, there's a website strictly dedicated for that. You can also get back uh, CDs of the show, and then they have all the patterns, uh, all the free patterns that are up on their site that were featured on the show. And then if you have, like, there's some difficult parts of the pattern, that's usually what we're teaching on the show. So basically, I'm going to be teaching four different patterns. One is mine, and three are other people's. And uh, then basically, I just kind of worked up the pattern. I was like, these are parts that I think are difficult. These are parts that um, I think we should teach. And so I had to work up all these samples. And so I'll be taking those and teaching those for those projects. So um, let's see. Yes, y'all. Thank you for sending warm, warm hugs to Debbie. Thank you. Love you, Debbie. Uh, Debbie joined us um, on a retreat in, back in 2012, um, the only retreat I've added, been at it hosted, which was phenomenal. And all the people who came were just love them, love them all, um, like 30 people, and we've just kind of remained in this little group. We've made a little Facebook group <laughs> from it. So, hey, Leanne in Australia. Ooh, it's late there, girl. Hey, uh, uh, hugs from Pearl. Hi, Lori and Crystal, Ellie. Um, so we are, let's see. Oh, you're, Leanne, you're in Brisbane. I mean, oh, Melissa, you're in Brisbane. Sweet. Okay. Oh, Crystal, I see you hopped on. You know, I haven't seen Steven um, in here lately, but I want to tell everybody um, a thing. I have got to, I've got to thank you for all the people who've contributed to the closed captions for Good Knit Kisses. We now have the Chic Retreat Cowl that is up on YouTube, which is a one hour long tutorial. It's a little over an hour and Steven and one other person helped contribute to. I think Steven did most of it. Um, but yeah, oh my goodness. Um, amazing, right? And then I have like eight other, eight or nine other tutorials that I need to look at. Of course, I have like 400 videos now. So, um, we're still, we're still going on those. But, um, yeah, I was able to over the, actually Friday, I was able to, um, look at all those closed captions and approve of the ones. Um, the Chic Retreat took me a while. It was an hour long video. So I pretty much had to spend a few time, uh, I had to spend a few hours on it. Even though it was already done, I had to watch it. And then there was just a couple of corrections, but it was, it would have taken me an enormous amount of time to do by myself um, and away from other projects. So I still have to approve them. But thank you so much for everybody who is contributing to that. I know that the deaf and hearing hearing impaired community has reached out and told me thank you so much. So that's because of you guys. So as a community together, we bond together and help um, our brothers and sisters in love. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, I'm so glad you joined me. Okay, we've got um, Alicia. She's says, do you always have to have, have to black a shawl? Um, it, 
Yes, I would just go ahead and say yes. Um, now, sometimes you might you might work up a shawl and it just it lays the way you want it and it's fine. Um, you know, maybe ones that are like a thicker roving or something like that. But especially something that has any kind of lace work or yarn overs or things like that. If you want it to look the absolute best, I would block it. If you work with lace or you work with somebody's pattern and it looks all crumply up and you think, oh, I messed up. Mm -mm. No, you didn't mess up. You just need to block it. And it may sound scary, but guess what? I heard a tip from somebody. I've never heard this before. So guess I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I heard somebody the other day, and it's so funny. She um, apparently follows me, and she made a video about one of my patterns. And I got to watch it. And then towards the end of her video, because she was showing like the tweaks that she had done on YouTube, and towards the end of the video, she actually mentioned about blocking. She actually blocked um, or was going to send off this crochet blanket to be blocked. So I was like, "Not, it's not even knitting. She said your dry cleaners will do it. She said that it cost her about $5. She takes it to her local dry cleaners, and they they take care of it. They um, wet it down. They block it out. I, I don't know if they steam it or whatever, but they... They, um, you know, dry cleaners has like a big working surface to work on different things. And so, yeah, it just takes them a few days to turn around and they block your item for you. So I thought that was pretty great. So if you have something very large and you don't have the way, a way to accommodate it, call your local dry cleaners and see if they'll do that. Um, and if they don't know what you're talking about, run. <laughs> don't have them do it if they don't know what you're talking about. Or you might have to talk to like the owner and then find out if there's a special person who maybe does it or maybe they send it out or whatever. So be sure and ask. <laughs> so uh, let's see. Crystal says, I have a loom question. Red Heart Scrubby Yarn. Have you used it? And will it look, uh, will it look good done on it? <clears throat> I have used Red Heart Scrubby Yarn. I actually have a, um, a tutorial. I did a um, Facebook uh, live video broadcast on making like these little scrubbies. Um, I actually used it on the loom. Uh, I've used it uh, crochet. I haven't knit with needles, needles, but I did um, knit these little, um, it's like done with wedges in a circle. Um, anyway, they're, they make like really good little scrubbies. So there's a Facebook live video and I think we put that up on YouTube already. So yes, I have worked with it, and um, we just did one strand, but you could even double up and, uh, and do a couple of strands. It's kind of loose and open, so yeah, it might double up. Um, so, and depending upon what store with the Red Heart Scrubby yarn, um, they have different colors. <laughs> so, like some are a blend of color, and some are solid, some are um, really bright, some are more muted. Uh, I mean, most of them are bright, but... Um, you can get some that are brighter than others. So, like, if you're going to Joann's versus Michael's versus um, Walmart, they're all different, which is kind of fun. It's like a little treasure hunt, right? <laughs> if you were lucky enough to have all those in your area, and I understand that um, other some people don't. Oh, and Hobby Lobby. Don't forget Hobby Lobby. They have different yarns, too. So, um, but anyway, you can always go online. So, um, let's see. What else? What else? I'm going to answer a few more questions and show you this yarn here. Don says, uh, always make a, pro a swatch and process the swatch. Yeah, you always want to block your swatch. Um, you know, unless you have a pattern that actually says that it's unblocked if you're checking your gauge. But usually if it doesn't say unblocked, it's blocked. Um, usually. Um, let's see. Wash and dry according to the instructions. Um, this is the only way you're going to know the finished gauge and how the yarn is going to feel blocking a shawl. Uh, really depends, um, and it goes on, but um, I don't have as much room to click on. Yeah, Dawn, thank you. That's very good. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's the only way that you're going to know how something, how yarn is going to behave on you, how it's going to lay. Um, it just really, it takes out that extra... Um, um, anyway, some some uh, things like, like uh, Red Heart... Um, Super Saver have like that kind of scratchy bit in there. That's not that doesn't stay forever. It actually gets softer when it's washed and everything. So if you will wet block it, like wash it and block it, or you can do a steam. Um, even just hitting something with steam, like hot water, um, the the act of that will actually soften that yarn up. And um, and so something that you think, oh, this is just way too stiff. I don't like how it came out. Please block it. Like don't chuck the project. Just block it. Okay. So, um, you'd be surprised. So, um, anyway, let's see. Did I loom knit 
No, I didn't get to illuminate. Okay, so I was going to do, I have this pattern for the Ripple or Chevron, and I was going to do the Luminate um, video on it with getting ready for the show and other things and getting sick and all this other stuff. I did not get to do it. And my washer went out, or my washer we're trying to fix. And so I had a repairman here, and it was kind of loud. <laughs> he was here Friday, tearing apart. Like, I walked out, and my... <laughs> washing machine was on the ground like the door and I'm like okay I'm not filming <laughs> so I did closed captions <laughs> so um excuse me <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> I will be doing them but I can't make a promise when the day is um oh Chris I'm so sorry uh let's good morning Joanne hey see you job done jumped on okay Congrats. Okay. I'm just scrolling through. I, I want to make sure we get get through here. Okay. Your mother used to have a, the cleaners do all her blocking, Chris? Okay, good. Now, Chris is in California, so that's really good to know. I haven't got to call my local one yet. But anyway, I thought that was a really cool tip over the weekend. I'm like, I love it. I'm learning something so good. I'm going to tell everybody on Monday. <laughs> Check. <laughs> Yeah, um, Chris says, I needle knit with Red Heart Scrubby, and it's awesome. Okay, good, thank you. Oh, there's a link for the scrubbies. Thanks, Joanne. Yeah, Marley Bird, uh, she is the host for Red Heart, and she has been doing different things. I think it's like once a month for the last few months, and she's been doing different patterns like every month. And they have these cute little animal characters and stuff, so you'll have to check that out. So, um, yeah, she does. Uh, she's also the voice of the Yarn Thing podcast. If you haven't checked her out, if you like to listen to podcasts while you knit and crochet, then be sure and check her out. You're always learning about new things, uh, industry trends, um, different designers, different interviews to their process and stuff. It's really good. She's really good at it. Um, I don't know how she does it all, and she always has a giveaway, so... That's fun. And then she does Facebook Live um, while she's doing it, too. So you get kind of the behind-the-scenes look, if you will. If you want to remove the veil on a, on a podcast. It's fun. I, I, I tune in every now and then when I have a moment. Uh, let's see. Who else is here? Okay. I may have to... Oh, can I hold up the chevron pattern again? Okay. Yeah. So you may do a loom version. Yes, yes, yes. This is the Chevron. This is called the Ripple and Ridge uh, Knit Blanket is what the name, the actual name of the um, the pattern is. So it's a Chevron. So it starts with the garter and then it comes down and does about 20 rows of the Chevron and then you change colors. Now you could, you could change colors before, but the nice wide big blocked um, coloring is fun. So this one has, it's a three color design and then like you would just, so this is just a small sample. Um, this is a third of the size on the width and uh, anyway, then you would like start the purple this purple again now the Afghan uh, colors are are the blanket um, are in the in the picture that you see uh, there are this um, slate this is Bernat beyond there's slate pumpkin and then this cream I'm not sure the color vintage or something. This is it on the loom. Um, but the sample I held up is on needles. And I think that's an 11 needle, if I'm not mistaken. I'll tell you. Yeah, a US 11 needle. I think this is 8 millimeter. I don't have my gauge in front of me. But yeah, so that's what this was made on. So yeah, that's Bernard Beyond. And yeah, I'll be working on that. Hi, Deborah, and from Barcelona. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. <sighs> um, Martha says, hello, bless your heart with all your things. When do you take time for yourself? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, hey, with all the things that were going on, I actually was able to on, um, oh, no, that was the Saturday before last. Well, I went to ladies' luncheon. That was the Saturday before last. <laughs> it wasn't this Saturday, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was on before. <laughs> My days are all blending. Okay, you know what? I consider when I get to sit down and, and knit and watch a movie, like, my me time, you know? So, I'm just, I get to chill and and do that. Um, went to kiddo birthday party and I took my knitting and, 
and that was fun. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. I, I get to do so many things. It's, it's fun. Um, yeah. Oh, Chris, thank you. Red Heart is doing seven months of Scrubby with new theme every month. Uh, she and her mom just did one last week. Sweet. Okay. So I'm talking about Red Heart. Um, the Yarn Inspirations is my sponsor, and I um, I can talk about other things. I am free to talk about other things. However, I have a whole slew of yarn here in this little bucket, and I don't have all the colors, but I want to show you Peyton's Alpaca Blend, and then I've got a few of the Karen Simply Soft I'm in some new colors, so I um, definitely want to... Um, to show you uh, show you that so um let me scroll through and see if i'm missing some okay cool i'm caught up on the uh if i missed your question you'll have to ask me again <laughs> i just have to get caught up to a certain point and uh in the the feed there and let me get my um okay get my ipad out it's got all my info on it okay all right let me flip the camera here yeah new yarn new yarn and there's some um there's patterns to go along with it and they're up I did. I checked. So I have my iPad. Uh, iPad, and I'm gonna show it to you right now. So let me flip the camera. Okay. Whoop. So this is what I've got right now. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I love my bucket. So this is so fun. I didn't. I didn't get this all decorated out for you, and like didn't all get it all set up. But um, so this is the uh, Peyton's Alpaca Blend. And um, you get to see some of the colors. There's actually 24 colors. And um, let me move this other one. So we're not... Okay. So this one is here. Peyton's Alpaca Blend. Um, let's do the pink. This is fun. I like the pink. Y'all can see that okay? And um, this is... Uh, Three and a half ounces, that's 100 gram balls, you know about the size that I'm holding here. Uh, it's, okay, now, it's not fully um, uh, alpaca. I will say that. It is a blend, but they are telling you it's a blend. So, um, uh, my iPad, what is it doing? Okay, so I'm gonna tell you a bit more on it. It's 60% acrylic, 22% wool, 10% nylon, and 8% alpaca. So, um, it's going to, it keeps the price down for you. It gives you some of the good properties of all that. Um, the, um, the instructions for care is wash in cool water and uh, don't bleach, don't dry clean, um, uh, iron or dry flat. And um, so that is going to be how you care for it. It is a roving yarn. Okay, let's pull this out. Here we go. So if you want to see that roving yarn, this is a um, size five or bulky yarn. And if you want to compare it to the Bernat Roving, this is the Bernat Roving right here. Okay. And the Roving is a is it super bulky. No, they're both bulky. So you can tell the difference. Okay. So if you, if you've seen the Bernat bulky uh, Roving and you thought it was a little too big, this one's just going to be a little lighter. They still both fall in the same category. Okay. So they're still a bulky five, but do you see the difference? So their wraps per inch are going to be different. Uh, let's see what else to tell you. Uh, the knitting gauge is uh, 15 stitches, uh, 15 stitches by 20 rows <clears throat> on a, uh, for a four by four. And this is with a six millimeter needle and which is, what's the U S size on that? A 10. <clears throat> yeah. So this is a 10. So for a four by four swatch, that's your stitches per inch uh, or stitches per four inches. And then the crochet is 11 uh, single crochet by 12 rows uh, with the same uh, six millimeter, which is a J hook. So, yeah. So there's that. And then, um, let's see. I've got my little iPad out here. I'm going to show you all these colors. Look at all these colors. Isn't that cool? 20, uh, 24 colors. Um, I love this little purple back here. I really want to see that one. Ultraviolet. Isn't that nice? Oop, I can't, I can't, there we go. Anyway, you can't really see it as well. But anyway, there's 24 colors, 
these are the colors I have right here. This is called uh, Peony, P-E-O-N-Y, like the flower. So Peony. And this one is Black Cherry. So this one is not showing up on camera as well. Let me see if I can get a better. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to get a better view. Okay. This is like a black background. And then the red in it is, um, let me see if I can hold it up against here. It's, it's like these bright red fibers that are sort of in there like that. And, um, you can see it's not, it's not full on burgundy. It has a little bit of a pop of like a bright red in it. Um, you see up against here it's really hard to see um, but anyway it's not it's not full-on like I'm a burgundy but it has like this um, sort of wine color to it so black cherry so this would be a good one if you're uh, in wine country and you're going for tastings uh, this one is birch and then a step up from that so if you're, if you're doing like this monochromatic theme the oats is a good color here see the oats and then kind of folding into that theme as well. This one is called Smoke. Yeah, Smoke. And then this one right here. It's kind of a mustard and a lichen blended together. Kind of a two-tone. You see how the two-tone is in there? This color is called Tiger Eye. Isn't that nice? Tiger Eye. And then here we have a... a uh, Kind of delustered pumpkin color. Isn't that pretty? This is called yam. So, hey, it's like a yam, except a fewer calories. Actually, yams are awesome and they're great calories. <laughs> but we can consume this with our needles and hooks, right? <laughs> Am I right, people? And then this one right here is toffee. Isn't that nice? And then the toffee has kind of a caramel color to it and this bright, it's actually a blending of like a tan with like a little bit of a, a yellow in it. So if you like a pop of yellow, it actually has these like yellow fiber hairs in it. It's really hard to see on the camera, but I promise you, don't, you can probably see it right there. Do you see that? So it's got this kind of a two-tone color look. I can definitely see two tones in these two very clearly. Um, this one has a little bit of a yellow in it, just a little bit, or a wheat tone if the word yellow bothers you if it's too strong, but this is called black cherry for a reason because it's like black and cherry, but it's like a darker, you know, obviously. Okay, so there's that. Oh, Leanne's headed out. Okay, so this one is Peyton's alpaca, and then you want to see some of the um, patterns that they came up with for this? Let's look. All right, so these are some of the patterns. I love this one, the Slash Stripe Knit Shawl. We'll come into it. It's this one right here. It's actually an easy pattern. Isn't that nice? And then, ooh, I could get that out of here. Pretty, right? And here we go. Really pretty. So this is a free pattern. It's a easy uh, needle knit pattern. And then you just go to yarnspirations.com and you can type in um, Peyton's Alpaca <clears throat> and it'll come up with these patterns here. And then when you find the pattern you want, you're going to click download pattern, hit English pattern or French. And then you've got, you've got your, uh, you got your pattern and you can download that to um, your, uh, uh, your, well, I've got on iPad, I've got something called um, I, um, the iBooks, open iBooks. Um, and then save it but that's the pattern right there and the colors are using in that is the tiger eye which is this one and then lagoon so that you get this real pretty green blue and that nice and so it goes with two balls each so that's that one and then what is another one we have This one was really cute. This is a Fair Isle knit capelet. So if you like using doing Fair Isle, and then you can see all the beautiful colors in it. This is I think this is a really good example of um, what all the colors look like. There we go. I don't know why I can't zoom in on that, but isn't that pretty? 
So nice. I think Joanne's going to want to do this. <laughs> I love it. Let's see if I can download the pattern real quick because it's, and then this is falls in the intermediate category. Okay. Check that out. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, tell me that's not gorgeous. I'm just saying. So <laughs> if you want to know the colors that are made up for that one, because I think that's pretty important, right? So this is still the alpaca blend. Remember, if you want to find this pattern, go to yarnspirations.com. Look, uh, uh, just search. Just hit, go to the search bar and hit Peyton's alpaca. You don't even have to type blend, just alpaca. And then um, all those will come up. The main color is slate, which you saw over here. I think this is slate. No, this is smoke. Okay, so I don't have it. Anyway, <laughs> the main color is slate. And then we have Baltic, toffee, which you did see toffee, lagoon, and petunia. So petunia is that must be that bright uh, pink color here. So, yeah. Isn't that great? So, and then the Baltic, it must be that um, darker blue that's inside there. So we have the darker blue, the lagoon, which is that brighter color, and then you have the pink, which is the petunia. And then um, the slate, which is the main color um, that you've got your ribbing in. And then um, it requires, um, you've got extra small uh, to medium to large and 2X and then 3 to 5X. So it can go rather large and you get basically um, in a smaller size, you get one of each ball and then two of the main color. Or to go to the middle side, you just add one more color of the slate. And then um, for the 3 to 5XL, you've got four balls of the main color and then two balls each of your other colors. So if you're trying to pick that out. So that's pretty great. Let's see, let's look at the other patterns. All right, is this fun? Do you guys like this? Let's see, what's the other one? Oh yeah, I wanna show you this hat. These are all new patterns and they are up, so I can show them. Oh, by the way, the, the, uh, the yarn is $7.99. So <clears throat> I think that's a pretty good, pretty good price for having an alpaca. Pretty great. And um, you should not have allergies to this. If you are allergic to wool, you're not going to have um, allergy problems with alpaca. <clears throat> Let's see. Here's her hat. Isn't that cute? This is crochet. I love it. It's really cute. <laughs> It's adorable. I'm just saying. I I love it. And uh, for the men in here, would you see this as a man's hat? I actually think it would be a nice man's hat. But what do I know? <laughs> um, the alpaca that you use on here is onyx and smoke. One ball each. Well, that's pretty great. Ah! I keep hitting the wrong button. Okay, let's pull out another pattern. And again, these are all free. You just download them off of yarnspirations.com. Waffling around crochet. This cute cowl. Isn't that nice? Let's click on here. Waffling around. So it's like a big waffle, a big waffle stitch. Isn't that nice? Okay, and then you just download the pattern. Again, that's crochet. It's an easy pattern. That would be a great one. That would be a good gift. It's very practical, too. But I think it would be fun and a really bright color. I like that, that blue that they showed. So pretty. You can just swap it out with your, your wardrobe. I love cowls. Can you tell? I'm just a cow girl. Ah! Maine from Texas. <laughs> Fort Worth. All right, so this one is the bookends knit scarf. Let's see if we can get a bigger picture of this. This is a knit scarf. It falls in the easy category. Um, I'm gonna scoop, zoom on this one. Mm, bad picture. Here we go. Isn't that cute? And this one is, so it's like a different texture at the bottom than it is at the top here. It's like a, it looks like a seed stitch. Uh, let's see. This one is US 10 needle, six millimeter. They're using ultraviolet, which is this purple color. And let's see. Knit garter. I haven't even studied this pattern yet. I'm just looking at it real quickly. You got some fringe. Just showing you how to put the fringe on here. Anyway, it's really good. Oh, gosh. 
I'm hitting the bottom, hitting the wrong button. Anyway, that ultraviolet is beautiful. Do y'all like that? What's your favorite color? Tell me your favorite color you've seen so far. Let's see what else do we have. Oh, one more, one more. And this is called a polka dot knit hat. And that's got a fun little texture to it. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go download the pattern. I can look at the pictures better on the pattern. Isn't that cute? Just so simple, but I love it. I like simple stuff that's long lasting. And this is just one ball. That's a one ball thing. And then this is called Celestial, so it's like a light baby blue. And it's just a one size fits pattern, one size fits average woman. It's easy. Um, it is going in the round. So hmm, perhaps this would be a good one that we work with DPNs or circular needles. Someone was just asking me the other day about making a hat. Um, I actually saw a baby. Oh, I can't talk about it. Um, I'm waiting to find out about this one particular hat about teaching it um, later on. Uh, and if it's on DPNs or um, circulars, I'm not sure, but someone just asked me the other day if I'm going to do a tutorial on DPNs or circulars, and I said, well, I'd really like to, but I'm kind of waiting on some other patterns. So anyway, that, do you like this one? If you want me to try the polka dot knit hat or you want me to work on circulars or DPNs and show you in the round, let me know in the comments below. Please. Okay, so that's that. Again, Peyton's um, Alpaca Blend Yarn, and if you go to their site there, it says there's there's 24 shades, and you can click on all of those and enjoy that. Um, here's this, that purple, that ultraviolet one. This must be the Lagoon. Oh, and that's Aquamarine. Ooh, look at the Aquamarine. That's nice. And this one is Turf. I like seeing the color names. Do y'all like that? The, oh, there's Lagoon. So Lagoon is actually a little darker, but that, oh, that aquamarine is gorgeous. Who likes aquamarine? I like that. And let's see what else, what else? Baltic, there's your blue, Baltic. And then I think there was Celestial as well, that one. Iceberg, Iceberg, and if I can find it, Smoke. Anyway, there's a ton of good colors in here. Oh, that's Baltic again. Okay, so there's that. And let's see if I can click on the different. I had some other ones up before you guys joined me. Karen Simply Soft. Okay, so Karen Simply Soft is um, the other one that I have today. Okay, so did anybody see the giveaway stuff with, um, with, Karen, uh, with Yarnspirations over the weekend? Here, let me throw these in a basket here, my bucket. So if you saw the uh, the giveaway, they're giving away the Karen Simply Soft. I think the contest ends today. This is the um, tweed. So there's three colors in the tweed. Um, <clears throat> So this one right here is the, so of course, they're all Karen Simply Soft, if you're familiar with it. It's a very popular line. The Off-White, okay, and then you can see how much of the tweed there is. So this is made to imitate the flecking, you know, in animal fiber that they used to be. Um, and that was like a fun little thing that just kind of came with it, and it could be anything. Now it's all manufactured, but um, you get that same look, um, but in a... Um, man-made product. So this is all acrylic and then 3% viscose. And these are uh, five ounce or 141 gram balls. There's about 250 yards in here. Oh, I bet someone asked me, I didn't see it. Let's see how many yards are in here. Did I say, um, 155 yards. So if you want to know about Peyton's alpaca, 155 yards. Okay. So the simply soft tweed. So we've got the, um, off white. And then we have the the gray family, which is pretty classic, gray heather. You can see the color blending in that. Isn't that nice? And then this one is taupe. So this is in the, um, the brown family, obviously. So if you want it in the, the cool gray colors, uh, you're going to want to go. Taupe is technically a warm gray, um, 
this is totally brown to me. It's not, I wouldn't put this, I wouldn't call this a warm gray, but taupe, the name taupe is warm gray. And then this is cool. So it's in the cool family. But look at this, um, look at this pattern here that they've got. You can get this online. I think it's on the back of the wrapper, but they're actually using all three in here. And then um, this guy's little scarf here too. So I was gonna try and find some of the patterns that they did in this. So I know that, whoops. Stop it. Okay. So this is it right here. This is called the Tassel Down Crochet, um, Crochet Blanket. And then here's Stepping Stones Crochet Pullover. I'll just click on that so you can see it. This is a, a crochet pattern, um, easy pullover. Isn't that pretty? Big color blocking. And we'll click on this guy so you can see a bigger picture. English pattern or French. So if you're Canadian, you need the French one or if you're in France. So that's a 50 by 60 blanket. And they're showing that tassel, uh, how to make the tassels. And you saw me preview the tassel maker, which has that. So you could do that measured one pretty easy. Uh, let's see, find another pattern for you. And this is called the two by two knit scarf that he had on here. And then this little textured kids cardigan, I believe is it as well. And it is a knit pattern. So the scarf and the cardi is a knit pattern and it's English and French. And this is using that taupe tweeds. Isn't that cute? Little cute cardigan to go over your shirt, warm you up. So that'd be a good little fall project. So if you make it, make it over the summer. A toddler sweater is not that, you know, that doesn't take as much time. Let's see. And I know there's another one. There's a lot of great patterns in here. Let's see, and you can just blend, browse through all of these. If you didn't know, Yarn Inspirations has a ton of patterns. Um, so along with their yarn that you can buy online and at local stores, they have a ton of patterns in here. So um, this one's not organized. I can't go into my, um, my uh, I have a Dropbox with the, all the patterns for it, but I can't get into that right now while you're on here. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, well, anyway, we're gonna keep going. So the um, the other ones I wanna show you is the Karen Simply Soft, um, some of the other colors that they, they sent me. Just, just three more here. So we've got this one right here, look at this blanket. Isn't that fun? Oh, thanks for the link, Joanne. She's put a link up for the Karen Simply Soft tweed. Um, this blanket right here, I just caught my eye. I was like, wow, I love how they did that. Isn't that cool? So this is color ocean. If you're doing a temperature blanket, that's pretty spot on. Like if you're wanting to do it like just, just like the temperatures when you're watching the weather, that's pretty great, right? And it's really soft too. So uh, let's see. And then this one's color gold. I found out that my six year old, his favorite color is gold, like yellow, sunflower actually. Very specific. <laughs> you can tell what a sunny disposition he has by that's his favorite color. And then this is the gray heather. So if you were wanting to blend up um, doing tweeds with um, no tweed, you could blend these together. So see that? And let's see what else I want to show you. Oh, and then I've got, have you seen the home deck stuff? This is the um, Bernat Maker home deck. And there's actually some fun macrame projects that they have going on. And this is like a tape type of yarn. Um, and it's still in the bulky category. It's 72% uh, cotton, 28% nylon. And um, it's all solid. Um, I have a, um, a cowl triangle, triangle. It's like a triangle shawl, mini poncho, also a cowl kind of thing. And I use a cotton tape yarn. So this is much bigger um, amount than I had for my pattern. Um, 
but uh, I might actually attempt that again because look at these other ones. Let me just, they sent me these. I'll show you these other two colors. <clears throat> I love this color coming up. Sorry, I didn't have time to get it all. Okay, this color. Isn't that cute? I love it. I love this color. This is aqua and the home deck. So you can make lots of fun things. And then this color is steel blue. Not great. So if you want to do some, some macrame with these and you've got tons in here, this is, uh, let's see how many what yardage is in here. This is 317 yards. So that's pretty great. 317 yards. So today we showed you the um, Karen Simply Soft uh, in the tweed and then the solid and then the Bernat Home um, Deck Collection, Bernat Maker. And then you have the Peyton's Alpaca Blend. So that was a lot. <laughs> Did you guys like that? What do you have questions on? Do you have questions on any of that? Um, so glad that you guys got to see them. Um, there's a ton more. There's a ton more colors, and they're not all sent to me. I started getting all these boxes, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to show everybody. <laughs> you know, it's it's funny because I I open the boxes. I don't want to do like these reveals now, but I can't because I'm like I got to make sure that they're okay to show. So <laughs> so fun. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm getting some good. Okay, so some people are saying yes that they want me to do the in the round. Awesome, awesome. I have to go back through and check all these check all these things out. Oh, here's a question. Someone had a question. Gina, could the new patterns be done on the loom? Um, the crochet ones, um, now if you ever want to know how to do crochet on the loom, um, Brenda Myers, um, called, um, she's got a blog called Loom Lore, L-O-R-E, and she has a thing how to do crochet on the loom. I have not done it. I know some other people have, and it works. Um, just a little more tedious and slow. So answer for the crochet thing. I know you didn't ask. But for the knit stuff, yeah, usually you can convert it over. Um, if it's if you want a tip on that, go to my blog. Go to goodknitkisses.com and um, just go to the search bar and click um, uh, convert. So if you just type, uh, type search, uh, go to the search bar and click convert. Um, pattern it, they'll you'll, they'll find an article come up and it's got a quick cheat sheet so actually if you have a flat knit pattern and you want to make it in the round uh, and you need that whether on your own needles or the loom uh, there is a little chart and it says like a quickie a quickie reference for you so if you want to print that little page off and keep it keep it handy so what happens is all the wrong side rows are um, whether they're the first, you know, like all the odd rows or all the even rows, it depends on your pattern because depending upon the designer, they may have put one or the other, the wrong side or right side. So pay attention if it says WS or um, RS. Um, but all the wrong side rows are going to need to be converted into a right side row, which means that you make it the opposite stitch. Now, you don't flip the direction, but you make it the opposite stitch. And um, yeah, so... You're going to want to, um, anyway, just go to there and I've got some tips on that. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it a short answer because I tend to be long-winded. Thank you for the link. Robin says that waffle crochet does look awesome. May have to try that one day. Yeah, I'll add it to the long list. <laughs> yeah, Robin, most people are allergic to, um, I mean, Ellie's saying, uh, most people are allergic to the lanolin and um, sheep wool. Um, I don't think the alpaca has lanolin. You're correct. It doesn't. Yeah, most people are allergic to the lanolin. Some people are allergic to the wool itself, but usually it's the lanolin. <clears throat> Carol, you like the ultraviolet? I knew you would. She's my purple girl, right? Debbie loves the purples and greens, but loving the grays and beige tones. Sweet, sweet. Yeah, that light that light hat might work well on the loom. Uh-huh. Yeah, probably. I would need to study the patterns. So, you like the purple and greens? Oh, sweet. Mar um Marie say, is it possible to convert the hat? Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. If it's in the round, um you can definitely say oh so the anything that's in the round on needles, you can totally do on the loom. Um you would just want to make sure you have the right gauge. So everything is right side in the round 
on needles and on loom. So for flat knitting, if you're converting something um, from a needle pattern and it is is flat, then yeah, you have to com you have to do the converting stuff. Um, but it's just a matter of gauge um, if you're looking at something that was made in the round on needles and you're going to put it on the loom. So it's just a matter of finding the right um, the right yarn, the right loom sizing, peg peg spacing, and how big your peg is, and uh, does it have enough. Um, does it have enough pegs? Do I need to add more? What's my multiple count? There's uh, some different things to figure out. So, uh, yeah. It's such a big question, too. I mean, I could spend all day on it, and I wouldn't answer all the questions. Just because it always depends upon the pattern. So, that's why it's really good to learn about gauge and how to measure it and how to um, um, figure out how to add more stitches in there. It just becomes more complicated the more complicated the pattern is. So, if you have different... Um, stitch pattern repeat with different multiples on it um the, you know you might have to um do a little more checking <laughs> changing the sizing uh is is different but if you're just changing the gauge um you know uh and you need to use twice as many like say it's like a super bulky thing and you want to add um uh, make it into a smaller um a smaller gauge you may have to double your amount of stitches and um and of course you change your yarn so can I put, show the polka dot hat on the thing, Gina? Yeah, I could look at that. Uh, Lagoon and Aquamarine are Joanne's favorites. Sweet. Um, yeah, Robin is telling them I, I show how to convert needles to loom all the time. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I probably even have a video doing it. Yeah, I do have I, I do have patterns um, that I show. Um, you know, hey, this is the needle pattern, and this is how I'm going to convert it. Um, I may not hold your hand exactly how you want it. I'm trying to kind of make it generic for a lot of people. Um, so if you, but if you watch all of them, you'll catch some lessons in all of them. Um, even like just picking one of my um, my playlists where I'm teaching how to read a pattern. I have some play playlists on how to read a pattern and just push play and like knit away <laughs> and listen because you might catch some uh, some little nuggets that might help you. So um, we all have our own tips and tricks, right? So <laughs> I like to listen to other people. Like I said, I've already told you another tip that someone else gave that I had never even thought of. So yeah. I don't know um, the giveaway. Some people are asking about the giveaway. I don't um, I don't know that that's still going on. I think it ended today. But you could go to Your Inspiration's Facebook page and check that out. It was a giveaway on the Tweed stuff. Um, so yeah, you were supposed to like like or love or um, laugh. I think it was to sort of vote on which one you would use, and then you would like say what you wanted to do with the pattern. But you had to enter on their page. So I just shared it over the weekend. Um, very beachy colors in the Burnett Home deck colors. Yeah, yeah, those maker colors are really cute, Robin. Yeah, definitely beachy. So, um, I want to grow up and be you and get yarn sent to me, Monica says. Uh, that's a recent thing for me, so it's pretty fun. Um, it's, who is it? Brianna K. Do y'all know Brianna K? Uh, she has a crochet. She teaches crochet. Um, she, um, I think she may also teach uh, knitting. Anyway, she has a little meme out and she was talking about how, um, how, uh, oh my gosh, sorry. I'm getting like a notification about something. I'm like, what is she? Sarah said, sorry. Brianna was talking about how, um, uh, would you rather have yarn for life or, um, would you rather have all the knowledge of knitting and crochet? So would you rather have all the knowledge or have yarn for life? So let's do like a little poll here. Okay. So if you would rather have um, yarn for life, uh, click the laugh button, like the emoji laugh button. And if you'd rather have um, all the knowledge, hit the love button, right? Ready to go. <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> yarn for life. <laughs> Look at all those laughs. Look at those laughs. 
And then, oh, and all the loves. See? Oh, all the loves. <laughs> That's awesome. So it's kind of split, right? Oh, what, what did Joanne do? Sometimes I can see your little icons pop up. I'm like, what did Joanne's do? Uh, I bet hers was, I don't know what hers was. Now I'm curious. Say what yours is. <laughs> okay, write it on there for me. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, it's, um, I I said I would like to have all the knowledge um, because I'm like, I've got the yarn. I mean, I don't really have yarn for life, but um, yeah. But there becomes a point, okay, say, so it's almost like the lotto question, like, okay, so if you won the lotto, I don't, I don't really play the lotto like every 10 years, <laughs> but, um, if you won the lotto, like what would you, um, sorry, I had notification. I got to get rid of, um, would you want it all at one lump sum or would you want it spread out over time? So if you were yarn, I would think that you would want it spread out over time and get all the new stuff slowly over time. You wouldn't want it to just all come to you at once, right? Because then we would see you on an episode of Hoarders. <laughs> and you couldn't move around your house. <laughs> so, <laughs> excuse me. Anyway. Oh, man, we're at 10 o'clock. All right. Well, this has been so fun. I'm so, I'm so thankful. Yeah, Joanne, man, you are fast with those links. Dude, she's so fast. Um... Oh, Chris says, how sad I love lanolin. They gave it to us at the hospital when we were nursing. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really good. Um, but yeah, some people are allergic. Can't help it. <laughs> Just like some people are lactose intolerant. <laughs> Can't help it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, oh, Donna, you're trying to spin your own yarn? Sweet. Yeah, you could have yarn for life um, by making it. <laughs> So, oh, Pearl, you just downloaded your own copy of the Ripple Blanket. Yay! Okay, well, the the um, Ripple Blanket, uh, if you want to do it on needles, go to um, youtube.com slash yarnspirations or look up yarnspirations on YouTube or go to their blog um, and look up. I've got a blog on the Ripple um, Afghan or Ripple Blanket. And uh, there is a video that um, I did, and it's on the Yarn Inspirations YouTube channel. And they've embedded it in the, um, it's actually in the blog. So if you want to see my needle stuff, you can see that. If you want it for a loom, you're going to have to wait a little longer because I still have to um, work that video up. So um, anyway, all right. Well, I am going to have to head out of here. I'm loving all of your comments. Oh, Joanne, I had to find yours. <laughs> she says, I'd want the knowledge so I can make the most of the yarn I have. That's a good answer. I like that. That's good. Uh, I had so oh someone in the group um that I saw it in they said I would want the yarn for life because there's always YouTube <laughs> for learning. And I was like, my channel and I thank you. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. So it's pretty cool. I mean you know that's why we're all here, right? We all we all learn different we all have different needs. So I love it. I love it. Well, anyway, you guys are awesome. I'm going to have to go back and read all these comments. <laughs> so cool. Whoosh. There's another. Oh, my gosh. And, Joanne, one more link for you. There's the blog link for the Ripple and Ridge Afghan. Thank you so much. Thank you all for joining me today. I'm so glad you got to see all the new goodies. And um, I will catch you later. Um, I won't be broadcasting on Wednesday uh, because I will be gone um, or I will be in my daughter's. So unless I broadcast late, but just count on me not being there. But you'll see some posts from me and stuff. And then uh, Friday we'll um, come out with a video on YouTube, um, which will be one of our um broadcast that was on Facebook and we'll put that up on YouTube so you'll have something so we have videos every Friday on YouTube Good Knit Kisses channel and usually we're posting on Mondays and Wednesdays 9 a.m. Central Standard Time on Facebook live so y'all have a great day happy knitting and crochet we'll see ya